what made me curious about um, this particular stone was um, what you've got there is a cross, is this is an, an arch, stones that way, smaller stones, and then you get these occasional stones upright. Because of its height, I thought it could be a lintel or fireplace stone uh, because the, it does have a fire in this small room. And down there you will see um, the room, get, get the light there. And that in itself has its own fireplace stone. You can see it there, I've revealed it. I've got a little bit more work to do. It'll be a nice little feature. It's no longer a functioning fireplace, but a candle or something in there to give it some warmth um, and mimic its original purpose. But uh, I, I like these stones anyway, so I've been hand chiseling, which has been tough enough um, for this stone. So it's quite large, as you can go across. These are gorgeous uh, stones. And I came to a natural end here. You can see up here, this is where the fireplace was. I don't know if you can see the blackness of the soot. There you are, there's when, that's when the uh, soot um, blended into the, the, the grouse or the pointing. Um, but that just confirms, uh, I thought maybe you might have come across and this was a higher level fireplace at one stage, but it looks like that's not the case. So I'm gonna leave it exposed like this. And um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of, uh, I think my finger there, it's quite, quite a depth here, um, out to here, was, that was, that's plaster and mortar and cement just um, put onto the old stone. So that had to be chiseled, chiseled away, and a bit of a mess around the place, but that's the fun of it.